Hi everyone, this is the Gaswalk through for December 8th. I'm Philip Newman. Today I'm solving Average Arrows Sudoku 2 by Bill Murphy. As the name implies, we've done Average Arrows before. So we have normal Sudoku rules, of course, one to nine in each row, column, and three by three box. Additionally, we have some arrows in the grid. And whereas normal arrows would be telling us, for example, there's a seven in the circle, so the sum of the digits on the arrow is seven. In this puzzle, the digit in the circle is the average of the digits on the arrow. And all of these are two cells, which helps. What also helps is Bill has given us the circle digits. Um, and one thing to keep in mind for average arrows, if we know the length and we know the average, then we know the sum. So that can be helpful. Um, some of you will find using the sums easier, uh, in part because you're probably more familiar with, uh, say, two cells summing to four, what that has to be. Um, some will find the averages easier to think about. I, I'd be kind of curious in the comments um, which you find more natural. But anyway, those are the rules. and. We'll get started with uh, the more extreme digits. So the two we talked about, as a sum, this two is saying because the average is two and there are two cells, the sum is four, and there's only one way to do that in two cells, it's one, three. Um, another way we can think about it, for two cell at least, is start walking in both directions from the two. So if we go down one from two, we get one, if we go up, we get three, and we can't go any further down than one. We can't do zero and four. Um, eight, same thing. If we go up, we get to nine, and that's as high as we can go. So to have an average of eight, we're gonna have to have nine and then seven to go with it. So that's what that one is. All right, seven, uh, I'll use the sum here. Seven says these sum to 14. We have a five in the box, so it can't be five, nine. So it must be six, eight in the wrong mode. Uh, six, eight. Uh, this eight must also be nine, seven, and we can resolve that one. Uh, three could be one, five or two, four. But again, we have a five in the box. So this must be four, two like that. The seven can't be five, nine. So it's also six, eight. This three uh, could be one, five, or two, four, and we actually can't resolve that one yet. Um, so we'll come back to, actually, I, I see where I want to go next. So we'll do that now. Uh, five. Five has lots of options. See, sum to 10. There's four different ways to do that. But one of the ways to do that is four, six, and that is impossible because there's a six right here. So, where does the four go in this box? It goes right here. And that's going to tell us that this is a two. A um, little bit sneaky, not, re not resolving this yet. Uh, but we can resolve it now. Uh, we don't have two eight. We don't have three seven. We don't have four six. We have one nine. Uh, eight can't go in these cells. So that's eight. And this is a five seven pair. The nine resolves the seven and the nine. Uh, six now, our only option is four eight with the three left over. These are one, five, six. Uh, so the five is here and that's gonna resolve this. Probably a simpler way to see that, but. Um, one, six, and seven here. That's not the seven though. Uh, and eight and nine don't go here, so this is also one, six. Um, done some pairs in this puzzle. I, I probably didn't test solve it this way. They aren't strictly speaking necessary, but sometimes they just make more sense to my brain. Uh, let's think about this four. Um, if we had a one, we would need to balance it with a seven to get a sum of eight. Um, or the other way of looking at it, one is three away from four. Seven is three away from four. There's a seven in the box, so it can't be that option. Must be the six with a two. Um, the five here could still be one, nine, or three, seven. We've got three of those digits here. 
So that resolves that. 1 and 9 in the column, that's going to force a 1 on the 5. Uh, 3, 4 here is resolved. Uh, the 9 resolves 8, 9. The 6 resolves 1, 6, and 1 up here. 5 and 6, this is 9. Uh, we've been done with the arrows for a bit now. We are just doing classic. Uh, 1, 4, 8, that's got to be the 4 from the 1, 8 up here. Uh, 3 in this box goes here from these threes, goes in the corner. Two, four, five up here, there's a four and five in the column. I feel like I'm scanning this really erratically, like five here, five couldn't go there, so I could have just placed five there, but I saw the two first. Uh, four, six, nine here, that's gotta be the six, and then nine, four, these are 1, 3, and 8. Uh, we can do that now. Uh, 1, 2, and 9. It's the 9, 2, 1. 5, 7. 1 and 5 here. 2 and what? 2 and 7. And a 2 to finish it off. And that's the solution. Uh, yeah, really nice puzzle, as always. Um, obviously giving the digits in the circles, um, makes this much more approachable than it, it could be otherwise. Um, but I, I like the different way of, of thinking about this. This could have been a killer with a bunch of given digits. Um, but it's, it's such an, it's a nicer presentation and it, kind of encourages your brain to think about it a little differently than you would if you were just presented with killer cages. Um, so I hope you enjoyed it as well. Let us know how you did in the comments, and I will see you next time.